like, yeah, I'm just gonna pull up over there because I'm sure you got something anyway. How you know? So, but I do. <laughs> but anyways, I got options. And I say the same thing every single time. Baby, you my eighth man. You all I ever wanted. We could do it real big. Take it and you ever done it. Keep me up on everything. Another host ain't never on it. I want this forever. I swear I can spend What's whatever. Up, babes? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angel. If you are new here, and welcome back to another vlog. So y'all, today is Monday, so happy Monday. I feel like I'm starting off my Monday on a good note. I've had a really good day at work today. Um, I think it's now um, five o'clock. I was on the phone with my friend, and I'm so proud of her, you guys, because she's actually been on her weight loss journey, and she has been doing a really, really good job, you guys, like, and being consistent. Like, she's went from, like, two-something to, like, 170, and she is still on her journey. And just talking to her, y'all, has motivated me um, to say that I need to start working out and I need to do better uh, with my overall health. I feel like I look good because when I have like my hair, my toes and stuff like that done, um, you know, my nails and stuff, you know, all of that outer stuff done, I feel better. But I feel like in order for me to really feel better and be able to cope with me always being tired and feeling lazy and just feeling sluggish, I think that I need to start back working out and get my body going, get my body moving. So um, I did have a BBL. If you guys have been following me for a minute, um, some of you guys know, some of y'all don't know, but I did. And I think it's been about 20, 21, 22. I think it's been like almost four years um it'll probably be four years in march that i've had a bbl um so i got it after i had casing and stuff and i feel like i still look good i still i still feel like i look good and i also had um a breast reduction and lift as well because casein made my boobs really big sis um so yeah um you know i've had work done and stuff but i just want to really help maintain um i feel like my bbl i look very natural which is definitely a goal for me that's what i wanted um but i just kind of want to tone up because i feel like i'm starting to get love handles um i'm still like i feel like i'm starting to get a little back fat girl i'm just showing y'all all my little business but i'm just feeling a little thicker than what, what i want to feel like okay i'm feeling a lot thicker and i don't want to feel this thick I definitely think I've gained some weight though. I'm really not too fond of like being on the scale and weighing myself and stuff like that. I just want to feel healthy inside and out. Like I did my hair girl. If you watched the last vlog, honey, if you know, then you know. But I look good on the outside. But like I was saying, I just want to feel good in the inside. I feel like working out is also going to help with my mental health. It's going to help with being the best version of me. Um, I really don't set like 2022. I want this, this, this. Um, I just kind of do what I want and I just kind of go for it. So I have this 30 minute workout pulled up on my old laptop because girl is low key still working. Um, no equipment is abs, butt toning working out workout. So y'all see babe shoes, but anyways, I got my workout mat and stuff. That's like all of this stuff is like PR stuff. Normally I work out in the living room and I want to get like a gym membership, but sometimes I feel like I'm most comfortable in my own home and I get a lot more done in my own home. I don't have to worry about me and staring at me and drooling. You know what I mean? I can just do what I need to do. When I'm done, I can go take my shower and we can move on to the next task. So, I did just do my hair yesterday, so I'm not super excited about what the outcome is going to look like for my hair. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm going to tie her up. I'm just going to put a scrunchie around her in a rubber band. I know the scrunchie is going to cause bands in it, but it's whatever. I only really care about looking cute on the weekends anyway, okay? So, I'm going to leave this link to the workout that I'm using um, down below. I'm going to try to do a different workout every day, and I'm going to try to work out Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, like this relax day. So, let's get started y'all honestly i don't care um for the music that's on this workout well i don't think it has any music but i just like to listen to what i want to listen to so i'm gonna get a good shuffle going <laughs> let me stop playing Check up on it. 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 Check up on
tired. So this is pretty much the aftermath. I did sit down for a minute to kind of give myself like a cool down, y'all. I ain't messing my hair too bad. <laughs> my edges, they weren't laid anyway, but I didn't mess up my hair too bad. I need to go get my scarf so I can tie it up. My hair is still straight and everything like that. Y'all don't be worried about how I look. I need to be worried about what this body giving. Ooh, looking better already. But, um, yeah, y'all, I'm so hard on myself, but I feel like that's women in general. We are our biggest critics, y'all. Anyways, I'm about to get ready to take me a shower. I do not cook on Monday, so I'm probably going to grab me a salad from, um, Zaxby's and some french fries, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I got to eat good, okay? And I got to be full. But, um, yeah, and I'm probably going to make me some tuna for work tomorrow, or if I don't eat all my salad tonight, I'm probably going to take the rest of my salad for work tomorrow. So, let me go ahead and jump in the shower, girl, because I hate to be sweaty. Go on the beat, better bring that ass back. Big dog, listen, I could barely ban. Take a member, let's see y'all. Party back in all these bugs. Fuck this. Big bag, listen, I could barely ban. Take a man, work them back. Party back and know you bitches. Fuck if it's up. Today is Saturday and I am trying to find me something to wear um, because tonight um, we're celebrating Babe for his birthday. Um, I kind of let him pick my dress. Um, I really like this one and I love the color because it's not yet summer. But um, this one's just so pretty. But the material on it is giving like more casual than I would like. And then this one right here is super pretty. Um, it's a little bit, um, it's coming off a little brighter on camera um, than it is in person. In, in person, it's kind of like a uh, olive kind of green. But on camera, it's coming off kind of bright. It's giving very spring. It's giving summer. And that's not really what I want. But these are, were basically, and then this was another option too. Um, but I want some... I want some more body showing, okay? Like, I need a little bit more going on. So, um, he decided to pick this one. Um, y'all, I got this dress from Boohoo, y'all. I got this dress so long ago. I can't even tell you, girl. Probably, like, three years ago. Who knows? So, I'm gonna go ahead and decide, um... To wear this one because babe like that one too and i love the color like i said it's not as bright as what you all are seeing right here um and then i'm gonna wear it with these uh heels right here um because if i was gonna wear the burgundy dress i was going to wear um those brown shoes girl where the other one these brown shoes with um my louis vuitton felicity pochette but i want to wear this one but <laughs> Y'all know, like, I'm not a material girl, but this bag is giving basic, okay? I mean, it goes with the shoes and everything. Like, it really does. I haven't even worn these shoes either, y'all. Like, all of this stuff is new. I gotta be ashamed of myself because I be buying sh shit, y'all, and don't even be wearing it. So, it goes with the, um, with the purse. Like, I think that's pretty, the nude. But this bag is just giving, it's not giving what it's supposed to. You know what I'm saying? And I like my shoes and my bag to match. So, of course, I wouldn't wear, like, that bag with these shoes and that dress. So, I'm just trying to figure it out because I also don't really like, um, well, actually, ooh, that's actually kind of cute. I haven't worn these either, y'all. If I wore these shoes, I guarantee you they will not be on my damn bed or on top of my new clothes. So, let's see how that looks. Girl, I'm just over here trying stuff. Ooh, oh! now that's kind of cute too. I wish you guys could tell me which one I should wear. Like if I should do the brown um, or if I should do the nude. I guess I'm going to have to decide for myself um, once I put my um, clothes on. <laughs> Wait a minute. I said that I won't. No, not like that. Not like that. Not like that. 
that, mama. But I'm saying, like, I'm not opposed to having new friends. Because I don't want to have no friends. So you ain't trying to be her friend. That's what you're saying. I don't mind being her friend. It's just she already coming with too much. Just tell you to go over her house and I'll her things. But don't go by yourself. I don't even want to go over there. Something's not right. <laughs> Cause that's what even Glenn was saying. He was like, I don't know about that, babe. Somebody right by her. Yeah. Oh boy, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. It's a no for me. I don't know about that, Jacob. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know about that either. I'm just like, let me just see about this, cause I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Okay, girl. Hey. Hey, mama. <laughs> Don't get yourself in too deep. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I'm going to be doing all that, though, for real. Yeah. Okay, mama. Okay. All right, y'all. Love y'all, too. Bye-bye. So, y'all, I just got off the phone with my mama and my sister, y'all. And y'all know how I say that I am open to new friendships and stuff like that. So I was, um, should I say presented with the friendship, I guess? So I went out to eat, y'all. I can't even talk. I went out to eat early this week, y'all. So I ran into basically a elementary friend, like literally like, like elementary we probably were like seven or something like that like an elementary friend for real for real girl okay so i'm not gonna tell too much details because um okay let me just get to the story whatever whatever <laughs> oh my god so we went out to eat and she happened to see me and she was just like where do i know y'all from and i was just like i called her name and she called my name and like Y'all, literally, I had just been praying about, like, friendships and stuff like that, y'all, because, <sighs> girl, only if you knew, okay? Only if you knew, girl, but, um, yeah, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, um, saw her, met her, and she was like, I'm going to have to get your number. So we exchanged numbers and everything like that. And she was like, well, we can just hang out, you know, something like that. I got a daughter. And I was like, okay, well, I got Kaysen. Um, And I'm just like, okay. So she was like, we can even hang out tonight. That was the first red flag. Who hanging out on a Wednesday night at beyond 10, 11 o'clock at night? Who doing that? Because I can't do it. Okay? I can't do it. And never do I try to make myself seem like I'm better than anybody else, y'all, or nothing like that. But it's just some stuff, <sighs> like, I'm not reverting. I'm not reverting. I'm not going back. I'm not backtracking. None of that. So, um, that was the first red flag. And then I just kind of, like, stopped texting her a little bit. Um, because, y'all, I'm not always under my phone. I'm not always, like... In my phone, seeing who texts me, seeing who called me and stuff like that. So, she was just like, oh my gosh, you never text back. So, I was like, you know what? Um, babe and I had so many different things planned today, you guys. We're going to get into that in a minute. So, yeah, like I was saying, who the hell hanging out like 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night on the weekday? I got to go to work, sis, okay? Like, I'm your average 8 to 5 kind of girl. And I decided to text her since she was like, I never really text her back and stuff like that. So, I decided to text her because sometimes I'm not a good friend when it comes to texting and calling and stuff like that. It just depends on my mood, girl. It's an Aquarius thing. If you know, then you know. <laughs> but, um, so I texted her back and I was like, what you doing? And she was like trying to find a way to work. Red flag number who? Number two, okay? <sighs> So she doesn't have a car. So, okay, she doesn't have a car. So the third thing, and I never text back, y'all. Don't judge me, but I never end up texting her back because, like, what was I going to say? Like, did you make it to work? Uh, do you want me to take you work? You know, I mean, I just didn't know because, one, she didn't ask, and two, we just met, like, we just, well, just met back up, relinked back up. So now, tonight, y'all, that's what I was just talking to my mom and my sister about. So, um, cause they were out eating. So I called them and I was like, let me put y'all on speakerphone. Cause I had to. And I already talked to Babe right before I called my mom and my sister, y'all. And Babe was just like, nah. He was like, nah, you don't need those type of friends. Um, 
So basically what happened is, so after I just finished filming this makeup look, um, I'm not finished, but I'm kind of like in the middle, but I just called her um, and I was like, hey girl. And she was like, fuck you. And I was like, don't do me like that, okay? Because I don't be around my phone like that. I'm like, don't do me like that. What do you need <laughs> at this point? So, um, I don't know. Like, what you trying to do at this point? Like, she's giving me vibes. Like, I don't know if you want to be my friend or if you want to eat my box. Like, which one do you want to do? Like, I, I don't know. Okay? Take it with what you want to take it, but I don't know what she want to do at this point. So, she was like, I'm about to come over there. And I'm like, okay. First of all, you don't even know where I stay at. And she don't. So, um, I was like, wait, wait. Like, I'm like, um, I'm getting ready to go out. Uh, like, so if you want to go out, you can put your shit on and you can come on over here. Well, not quite come on over here, but you can put your shit on and we can go. So, being that we just relinked back up, I'm not too fond of having company at my house, you guys. I'm not too fond of people coming to my house at all, for real, for real, at all, girl. Because, first of all, I don't have that many friends and I don't be, like, I don't be trusting people, y'all. Okay? I told y'all. I got trust issues. I'm not putting that in the air, but... Like, I just be very selective and very choicy, you guys, because nine times out of ten, that spirit of discernment don't cap, okay? It does not cap. So, um, she was like, I don't have anything to wear. Bitch. That was red flag number three, okay? Three strikes you out, okay? I'm at this point in my life, like, even with friendships, if you're not serving me, honey, if it's not being reciprocated, friendships, relationships, oh, I'm cute, okay? Any of that? Gotta get your ass out of here. I'm just being honest. So, um, and little old me, because I'm nice, y'all. I told y'all, nice as hell. So I was like, you wanna see um, if you can shop my closet or get something out of my closet? Y'all, I'm so damn nice. I gotta stop being nice. So nice, though. So she was like, yeah, I'm just gonna pull up over there because I'm sure you got something anyway. How you know? So, but I do. <laughs> but, anyways, I got options. Um, that's what happened when you're a shopaholic. So, um, so yeah, I'm being so animated, y'all. But no, I'm being so serious. So, um, she's like, drop the address, send me the address. So, she called me literally right after I told baby situation twice. And then she just texted me and let me know. She said, um, let me tell y'all what she said. She said, now, I just called you. Like, you ain't answer the phone. I just feel like something's not right. And my spirit is leaving me to leading me to feel like that and to actually say that. Cause to me, um, I personally, if I'm just meeting somebody, I'll be like, okay, girl, um, I'll get ready. I'll be ready in about an hour. I'll see you there. Like, I don't even expect to ride with you at this point because I'm a grown woman, y'all. Like, I'm a grown woman. I'm not a little girl anymore. But I don't know. Y'all let me know. Comment down below. And let me know how I want to handle this situation, girl. Cause I don't even know at this point. I don't know. Um, I guess to me, I'm going to take my mom's, my sister, and my boyfriend's advice because, and my own advice because everybody ain't wrong. And uh, I'm probably not going to text back A, let me put this on silent, this is my mom calling, or B, I'm going to tell her like, my boyfriend, he don't play nobody coming to the house. I'm going to blame it on him. Let me answer the phone. Hello? Hey. Hey, mama. When I tell y'all my sister is Inspector Gadget. She is an inspector gadget. Like, stop playing with her, okay? Like, I love, like, my family, y'all. Like, we are so close. Like, we don't play about each other. Like, my sister and me about my sister, no ma'am. Period. And, like, she was like, I had literally already looked her up. Y'all, don't think this is weird. It's too much light right here. But, um, yeah, she was just like, I had already looked her up to see. Um, just to see. You know, like, even when guys and stuff, my sister, like, she should be working for the FBI, okay, at this point. So, um, yeah, y'all, like, my sister was just telling me it's okay to say no. Like, it's okay to say no. And I was just telling her, like, I needed to hear that. I really did. I needed to hear that because sometimes, like, I feel like I'm always so sweet or always trying to worry about how people feel about me or what they're going to think about me if I say no and stuff like that. But I can't be worried about all that. And I pray that spirit up off of me, like, for real, for real, because... I got to be able to think and use my own brain that God gave me. Because I got it. And and just to know when that stuff right. I know when it's not right. It's just like literally up to me um, to basically fall through with my intuition and my spirit discernment. So, yeah, y'all. Um, 
whatever. Babe's on the way. 8 39, 39, 10, 10. So we can ready to leave in like <laughs> two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and try on two of the dresses that I might wear tonight, and we're gonna see what it's giving. We're gonna see what it's giving. <sighs> So before we jump into the two dress options for tonight, I wanted to quickly thank Sculpt She for sending me over this body shaper. This shapewear is super smooth, is super comfortable, and it shapes you in all the right places. You get full control and ultra high compression. So it tames your tummy, slims your thighs, and lifts your butt. Let's be honest, everybody wants to look snatched, right? So I love that this has a butt lifter design that includes no padding. I love that this shapewear features detachable straps so that if you're wearing a strapless dress, you can definitely detach those. And it also just simply feels like second skin. And of course, my shapewear is in the color black and I got a size small. I also love that there's something for everyone, so whether you're an extra small, all the way up to a 6XL, they have you covered, sis. So I guess I'm spilling my tea on how I always look so snatched, especially when I wear dresses. I feel like no matter what size you are, everybody needs to wear shapewear, no matter if you had a BBL or if you haven't. This shapewear also comes in beige. I just love how smooth this makes me look and I love how snatched I look with this shapewear. So be sure to check out my description bar below. I will have the direct link to their website as well as a coupon code. I am dressed and ready to go. Ooh, little sneak peek. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing real quick and then we're gonna head out the door. So yeah, and if you don't wanna know what fragrance I sprayed on, you have to wait till Friday's video, I think. Well, let me, maybe I should just go ahead and tell y'all. No, you're gonna have to wait for it. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, this is what I'm wearing. It's this pretty olive greenish kind of dress. Um, I'm wearing these brown heels that I got from Forever 21. Y'all, these were probably like $10. And then, oh, I thought they matched my shoes a lot better, but you know, whatever. Um, it's cute. Like, I'm a minimalist kind of girl, so. I think this is given what it's supposed to give. I love the brown because I was gonna do um, a nude, but um, I like the brown because it like brings it down a little bit because it's still um, cold outside, so it's not quite summer. take you guys uh, with me last night um, I do have some snaps which you guys probably have already seen but I did not even be on my phone as much as I thought I would be like as far as video or anything or like snaps IG stories any of that um, so yeah y'all um, I just woke up girl it's like 12 o'clock okay um, but I had to wake up because I was supposed to film this video yesterday and I'm trying to stop filming during the week because it's just kind of too much for me. I'm very overwhelmed when I do do that. So um, today is Sunday and Kason is still with his dad. So I was like, you know what, before he comes, I'm going to go ahead and get this video knocked out. And I was going to do it yesterday, y'all, but I wanted to wear this hair going out. Like, I just love the straight look. Um, and I still want to wear this hair, but... Um, I just didn't want to take this off, put this on, then take this off, put this back on. And I would have to redo my makeup. It would just be too much because I would have to, the hairline, all of that. So, um, I'm just sitting here um, pretty much styling this wig um, how I want to. Um, I usually do this before I actually do my get ready with me. It makes um, things go a lot smoother when I do sit down and film. I can just literally put the wig on. Um, style it a little bit and do my makeup so yeah I'm getting ready to film a get ready with me um, babe is also working too um, he went over his house to work so it's so crazy cuz like when we with each other y'all like we don't get nothing done nothing gets accomplished well not in a bad way we just want to enjoy each other company but sometimes it's like he like alright babe I'll be back in 20 minutes don't worry and I'm just like Okay, babe, 
Like, if you come back in 20 minutes, I ain't gonna film a video. But if you do, if you don't come back, y'all get what I'm trying to say. I am gonna film it. So, <laughs> he was like, it's taking a little longer, so that's good. He gonna bring lunch, we gonna have lunch, and then he gonna go finish working, and I'm gonna finish working. But yeah, y'all, I had a good time last night. Um, It was a lot of drunk shit going on last night, okay? A lot of drunk shit going on. So, yeah, um, I should have brought my camera, y'all, because we sat in McDonald's drive through for, like, fucking one hour, y'all, for food. And then we got up there, they was like, we only serving breakfast. Nobody wanted breakfast. I was trying to get a Big Mac or a fish filet sandwich, okay? So, um, yeah, whatever. I'm so glad that babe enjoyed himself and his birthday. Um, all of his friends end up coming out, which were super, um, it was super dope. And y'all, every time y'all see me on Snap, on my story or whatever, and you see me on my story and not posting a picture, please write me in my story and say, where's the pictures? Where's the full body pictures, Angel, for Instagram? Where they at? Because y'all, I have to be more active. I feel like I'm more active on my IG story and on YouTube. Like any story, Snap, IG story, Facebook story. I guess I don't think I'm that photogenic. I like videos. Like I like to just video record myself and stuff like that. Let me finish um getting this wig together and then um I'm gonna talk to y'all.